Hi guys, it's Monica with Healthy Living OKC. Um, welcome to my home. We're here to do a um, 30 minute, fairly intermediate flow. Um, always take it to where you need it. You can chill out on your mat and you can pause and um, just not even listen to my cues if you don't want to. So do what's right for you today. Um, we're gonna start on our backs and we are going to, if you have them, have at least one block nearby. We're gonna um, do a little bit of core work at the beginning with it. So go ahead and settle onto your backs here. And just take a moment to notice how your body's feeling. Start to feel the earth beneath the body. And then as you start to feel that connection, start to bring a little bit of awareness to the breath. Just feeling the rise and fall of your belly. It's taking about three more full breaths, just as you are. Good, and then you have this option to start to cactus the arm, just opening up into the heart space. Just breathing a couple of breaths into that variation if you're taking it. And then you also have the option to add the legs, the hips, you bend into the knees and then let the knees splay open, soles of the feet to touch, coming into a butterfly variation. So we'll take two more full breaths here. Good, and then if your eyes are shut, just go ahead and slowly blink the eyes open. And then on your next exhalation, just go ahead and draw the knees back to center. You can release the arms, start to draw the knees in towards the chest, giving yourself a nice little hug. Good. And then from here, this is where we're reaching for a block. We're just going to go ahead and warm the core. So we're getting into our obliques a little bit. You're going to take the block in between the knees. And then from here, turn to your right side. So your right arm is gonna extend, and you're gonna take the left hand behind the head. So gently take the left elbow down, and then on an exhale, draw the elbow towards the outer thigh, and then come back down. We'll maybe do this for about eight more. Here's six. So just finding a nice full range of motion. About halfway. Here's three, and two, and one. Good, so come back, come to center, draw the knees to center. From here, we're gonna go ahead and take that block on top of the right thigh. You can take it long way or short way, and take the left elbow to it. So squeezing here, breathing into that left oblique. So you have the option to keep the hips square, knees on top of the hips, or you have the option to lengthen through that left leg. We're pausing and breathing here for five, four, three, two, and one. Draw it back to center. So from here, we're gonna switch sides. So this time you're gonna take the, you can stay as you are and just turn to the other side. I'm just coming over to this side so you guys can see me. Left arm is extending and you're bending your knees, heels, hips, and uh, shoulders in line, right hand goes behind. So we'll go ahead and take eight crunches here, drawing the elbow towards the thigh. We've got six more. Get a nice full range of motion. And here's three, and two, and one. Come back to your backs. So from here, we're gonna go ahead and take the block on top of the left thigh this time, shorter, long way, and take the elbow, right elbow to it. You can hang here, stack the knees on the hips. You have an option this time to extend the right leg. We're here for five, four, three, 
two, and one. Hugging it in. Releasing, drawing the knees towards the chest. Good, and then from here, drop the heels to the earth. Your feet are hip width apart. You're gonna bend your elbows. Your feet are parallel. Keep your gaze towards the ceiling. We're gonna slowly come up into a bridge pose. So uh, raising the hips, one vertebrae at a time from the bottom of your spine up. Just pausing into your bridge pose. Taking a couple of full breaths, feeling nice stretch throughout the front body. One more full breath. And then gradually lower from the top of your spine back down. From here, draw the knees to the chest. We'll go ahead and take the hands to the right shin and extend the left leg. Just compress for a moment. And then we're incorporating a little twist, left hand to the outside of the thigh and taking the knee across the body. Take one more full breath here. And gradually drop back to center, knees to the chest. We're swapping out sides. Take the hands to the left shin as you lengthen the right leg, hug it in. And then from here, right hand to the outside of the thigh. On your exhalation, taking that twist over towards the right. We're here for another breath. And then drop back to center, knees to chest. Good, so from here, we'll go ahead and just rock and roll front to back. And then gradually make your way to all fours. So stack the wrists under the shoulders, knees under the hips. You'll go ahead and take an inhale, lower the belly into your cow pose. And then exhale to a cat pose. Just taking a couple, a series of your cow pose and cat poses, warming the front body and the back body. And then gradually come back to your neutral spine. So from here, you're gonna walk your hands about a handprint forward, spread the fingertips wide, wrap your triceps around the backs of the arms, and then start to curl the toes under, lifting the hips. Knees can initially stay really nice and bent. Find length through your spine. And then gradually, maybe moving into the back of the legs, heels can head toward the earth. So just taking a couple of breaths to open up into your downward dog. So your feet are about hip width apart. You're drawing your navel in. Take one more full breath here. And then gradually start to soften the knees. Walk your hands towards the back of your mat. You're coming into a forward fold. So from here, you're gonna take an inhale, lengthen your spine, draw the navel in, shoulders away, and then exhale, fold at your hips. Take an inhalation, root to rise, hands go to the sky, and then exhale, hands come to heart center. Let's take an inhalation, hands reach up to the sky, and on our exhalation, fold at the hips. Take an inhale, lengthen your spine, and then on your exhale, walk it out to a plank or modified plank, looking to stack those shoulders on top of those wrists. We'll take an inhale, shift forward, and then on the exhalation, slowly bending at your elbows, letting them graze the sides of your ribs as you lower your belly to the earth. Go ahead and uncurl the toes, lengthen through the legs. Squeeze the elbows towards each other as you gently lift the heart. Take an inhalation, and then exhale it back down. From here, you can either keep the knees down or curl your toes under, press up onto your plank on an inhale, and then exhale, knee into your downward dog. Take two breaths here, and then gradually gaze to the front of the mat, lift your heels, bend your knees, step towards the front of the mat. Take that inhalation, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold at your hips. Take an inhalation, root to rise, hands reach to the sky, and then exhale, hands come to heart center. So a couple of sun salutation A's. Take an inhale, reach the hands to the sky. Exhale, fold at your hips. Inhale, lengthening the spine. And then exhale, step back into a plank or modified plank. Feel free to use your blocks. On an inhalation, shift forward. On your exhalation, chaturanga. You have an option to come into a push-up or an up dog on an inhale. And then on your exhalation, 
Take your way, make your way back to your downward dog. Take a couple of breaths here. Tilt your sit bones towards the sky. Bottom of the next exhale, start to gaze forward. Lift the heels, bend the knees, step or float it forward. Take an inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise. Exhale, hands, heart center. Take an inhalation, hands reach to the sky. Exhale, fold at the hips. Inhale, lengthening. Exhale, plank or modify. Take an inhale, shift forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, make your way back, downward dog. So from this downward dog, we're gonna incorporate a little bit of a twist. So you're gonna step your feet wide, shorten that stance, tilt the sit bones to the sky. From here, reach your right hand for the outer left calf, open the left ribs to the sky. We're here for one more breath. And then gradually unwind, right hand returns forward, and then the left hand reaches for the right outer calf. Opening the right ribs to the sky, one more breath, and then unwinding. Step your feet hip width, gaze to the front of the mat, lift your heels, bend your knees, step or float it forward. Take an inhale to lengthen, exhale to fold, inhale, root to rise, exhale, hands, heart center. Last one with an option to float back. Take an inhale, hands to the sky, exhale, fold at your hips. Inhaling, lengthening, exhaling, meeting into your downward dog with or without that flow. Connect your breath. Good, so from this downward dog, take an inhale, take an exhale. So bottom of your next exhale, gaze forward, lift the heels, bend the knees. We're stepping or floating forward. Take an inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold at your hips. Inhale, root to rise. Exhale, hands return to heart center. So we're gonna move into Surya Namaskar B, Sun Salutation B. Take an inhale, sit into chair pose. Weights in the heels, heart is lifted, navel in. And then on your exhalation, fold it forward. Take an inhale, lengthen. Exhale, make your way, downward dog. Take an inhale on your up dog. Exhale, downward dog. Next inhale, right leg is gonna reach to the sky. On your exhale, just bend the knee, point the toes over towards your left, opening that hip. And then gradually re-square your hip. Take an inhale and exhale. The knee is gonna go towards the right tricep. Maybe you find connection between the two. Take an inhale, leg to the sky. Exhale, knee to the chest, hug it in. Step the foot through. So from here, back heel is gonna go down. We're setting up for a warrior one. On your inhalation, arms go to the sky. On your exhalation, just stay for a moment. Make sure the front knee is tracking along the second to third toe. We'll take an inhale. And then on your exhale, it's flowing or meeting into your downward dog. So same thing with the left side. Let's take an inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, bend the knee, point the toes towards the right. We'll gradually square it back up, take an inhale, and then exhale, knee goes towards the left tricep. Take an inhale, leg goes to the sky. Exhale, knee to the chest, step the foot through, back heel goes down. Take an inhale to your warrior one, and then exhale to settle into it. Left knee tracks along the second and third toe. Take an inhale, and then on your exhale, it's a flow or downward dog. Take a couple of breaths here. Relaxing the tops, the shoulders away from the ears. 
So bottom of your next exhale, gaze it forward, lift the heels, bend the knees, step or float it forward. Take that inhale to lengthen, exhale to fold. Inhale, sitting into a chair pose. And then exhaling, taking the hands to heart center. Sit a little deeper into the uh, weight into the heels, lifted heart into your chair pose. So take an inhalation here. And then exhalation, just twist to your right, making sure to square that left hip with the right. Come back to center, take an inhale. And then exhale, twist to the left. This time square your right hip with your left. Take it back to center, take that inhalation, and on your exhalation, fold. Take an inhalation, root your eyes, hands to the sky, and then exhale, hands come to heart center. So we're gonna do a little variation of sun C here. Take an inhale, sit into chair pose, weights in the heels, lift the heart. On your exhalation, fold at your hips. Inhale, you're lengthening your spine. On your exhale, you're gonna step your right foot back. Take your back heel down. So we're setting up for a warrior one. On an inhalation, hands to the sky. Exhale, let's settle into cactus arms. Lift the heart. One more breath. Gradually, hands uh, clasp behind. Take an inhale. And then exhale, and we're humbly bowing. So draw the left hip back and in, root down with your right outer edge of your foot. Next inhalation, sweep the hand to the sky, it's a warrior one. On your exhalation, open up, it's a warrior two. So you're gonna turn your right toes out, make sure the tracking of your left knees to the second to third toe, gaze, soft gaze past the left fingertips. Draw the front ribs in. Take an inhale, lift the palm. And then exhale to your reverse warrior. Feel a nice stretch into your left side body. Good, we'll gradually come into our extended side angle. Left arm on the thigh, lengthen through the right arm. So you have the option to stay here with it, or maybe you take that left arm parallel to the right. One more breath. From here, reverse triangle. So you're starting to straighten through the front knee. And then windmill the hands down. This is where you can take a float or a downward dog. Next inhalation, right leg is gonna reach to the sky. On an exhale, bend the knee, point the toes towards the left. We'll square it back off, take an inhalation. Exhale, knee towards the right, tricep. Take an inhale, reach the leg to the sky. Exhale, knee to the chest, step the foot through. So from here, we're gonna think about a variation. It's a lightning lunge. So you're gonna start to sweep the arms back. Start to open that heart space, square the hips, engage those inner thighs to help that squaring. From here, take the hands to the heart on an inhalation, draw the navel in. On your exhale, you're gonna twist to your right. So palms can come together. Option to always take that left hand down, right arm to the sky. Just breathing an extra breath into this nice twist. One more breath. We'll gradually start to gaze down. So from here, we're gonna think about stepping the left foot to meet next to the right foot, coming into a chair pose with a twist. So left foot to meet next to the right, square the hips. Good, we'll take an inhale, come back to center. Exhale, fold. Take an inhale, lengthen your spine. On your exhale, step the left foot back, lower the back heel down, so we're getting the other side. On an inhalation, warrior one. Exhale, cactus those arms, lift the heart. From here, take a clasp of the hands, roll the shoulders away. Take an inhalation. And then exhale, you're humbly bowing. This time you're drawing your right hip in towards the midline. Relaxing through the neck and jaw. Next inhale, release the clasp. Sweep the arms to the sky. And then exhale, let's open up into a warrior two. Turn your left toes out. You may be lengthen the stance. Soft gaze past your right fingertips. Stack the shoulders on the hips. 
Take an inhale, flip the palm. And then exhale to your reverse warrior. Nice lengthening through the right side body. From here, it's an extended side angle. Right arm goes on the thigh. You can lengthen through the left arm. You have the option to stay here, or maybe you float that right arm. We're here for another breath. Let's think about a reverse triangle. Start to straighten through the knee. Nice side stretch. And then gradually windmill the arms down. It's a runner's lunge. From here, it's a float or downward dog. So from this downward dog, let's take an inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, bend the knee, point the toes towards the right. We'll square it back off, take an inhale. Exhale, knee to the left, tricep, hug it in. Take an inhale, leg goes to the sky. Exhale, knee to the chest, step the foot through. So we're in a runner's lunge. We're thinking about lightning. So start to lift the heart as we let the crown of the head forward, square the hips, draw the navel in, take the hands to the heart on an inhale, and then exhale, we're twisting. Palms can come together as an option. Engage your right quadricep. Breathe one more full breath into your twist. Gradually, you can gaze down. Think about stepping the right foot to meet next to the left. Pause and breathe. And then gradually come back to an inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise. Exhale, hands, heart center. Good, so take a breath here. Now options. You can come into your Malasana garland pose. Heels in, toes out, a little wider with the heels. And sitting the hips down. If this is not feeling great for you, Another little pause, and another little option. You can come into a seated butterfly. So wherever you are with it, take about three full breaths. Building some heat here. We have 30 minutes for an intermediate flow. Just feel how you feel. One more breath into it. Good, and then gradually make your way downward dog. So from this downward dog, let's go ahead and gaze to the front of the mat. Lift the heels, bend the knees, step or float it forward. Take an inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, fold it, grips. Take an inhale, root to rise. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Let's take an inhale, sit into chair. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, right foot steps back, back heel goes down. Take an inhale, warrior one. Exhale, cactus the arms. Take a clasp of the hands, take an inhale. And then exhale, we're humbly bowing. Pause and breathe, one more breath. We'll gradually release the clasp, scoop the hands to the sky on an inhale, warrior one. And then exhale, open up into your warrior two. Take an inhale, flip the palm. Exhale to a reverse warrior. Take an inhale, extended side angle. Your choice here, pause and breathe. Maybe this time the right hand goes behind the back into the hip pocket. Open the right ribs to the sky. Maybe you reach for that left hand, a bind. One more breath. We'll gradually come into our reverse triangle. Take a nice lateral stretch. Gradually windmill the hands down. Pause into your runner's lunge. So from here, an option, a twist, left arm to the sky. Maybe you take yourself into a side plank variation. You can always stagger the feet. You can always take the bottom knee down. Here for five, four, three, two, and one, downward dog. So take an inhale, take 
Take an exhale. Next inhalation, right leg goes to the sky. Exhale, bend the knee, point the toes to the left. Take an inhale, square it up. Exhale, knee to the right tricep. This is where you have an option to maybe fly if you want it. Gradually take an inhale, leg goes to the sky. Exhale, knee to the left tricep. Option to extend the leg in a nice IT band stretch. Dorsiflex the right foot. Gradually sweep the right leg to the sky. Inhale. Exhale, knee to the chest. Step the foot through. From here, start to let the heart lift. Hands come to the heart. Take an inhale. Exhale, we're twisting. From here, gaze down. Step the left foot to meet next to the right. Take an inhale. Take an exhale. Maybe this time the arms open. Gradually come back to center. Take an inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, left foot steps back, switching sides. On your next inhale, warrior one. Exhale, cactus the arms. Lift the heart. Take the hands behind. Take an inhalation. And then exhalation, we're humbly bowing. From here, sweep the hands to the sky on an inhale, warrior one. And then exhale, it's a warrior two. Inhale, flip the palm. Exhale to your reverse warrior. From here, extended side angle, your choice, extra breaths here. So maybe you stay as you are. Maybe the left hand slides into the right hip pocket, open the left ribs to the sky. Maybe your right hand reaches under the thigh for the left hand. A bind. One more breath. Gradually coming into your reverse triangle. And then windmill the hands down. It's a runner's lunge. From here, a twist, right arm to the sky. You have an option to stay as you are or sweep that right foot on top of the left. Maybe you stagger, maybe the bottom knee goes down. Here for five, four, three, two, and one, down or dog. So last quarter of this half, take an inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, bend the knee, point the toes towards the right. Square it back off, take an inhale. Exhale, knee towards the left tricep. Option to fly, option for an arm balance here. Gradually inhale, leg to the sky. Exhale, knee towards the right tricep. You can extend the leg, dorsiflex the foot, pausing here. Gradually sweep the leg to the sky, inhale. Exhale, knee to the chest, step the foot through. Think about that crescent lunge variation, lightning variation. Hands to the heart, inhale. Exhale, we're twisting. From here, you're gonna start to gaze down. We're gonna step the right foot to meet next to the left. We're in chair with a twist. Squaring those hips. Maybe the arms open. Gradually come back to center. Take that inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise. Exhale, hands, heart, center. Good, so from here, we're gonna start to cool down. Let's go ahead and take an inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, make your way, downward dog. With or without that flow. So from your downward dog, go ahead and take an inhalation with the right leg to the sky. On an exhale, we're gonna land the right shin forward. So right knee towards the right wrist, we're coming into a pigeon. Um, so right shin lands down, right knee is fairly in line with your right hip, if not to the right of it, just avoid the knee on the inside of the hip. You know, slide a block under the right sit bone. Be mindful of how your right knee joint feels. If this is not feeling good, come to your back into a figure four variation. So square the right hip back, level the hips. Take an inhale, 
and then exhale, option to hinge. We're here for a couple of breaths. Nice stretch throughout the right outer hip. One more full breath into it. And then gradually lift the heart. You're gonna curl your back toes under. You're gonna reach the right leg back to the sky. It's a three little dog. Bend the knee, point the toes towards the left and then return to your downward dog. Just go ahead and walk it out a couple times. And let's get the other side. Take an inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, land your shin forward left, knee towards the left wrist. Gently square your left hip back. You can slide the block under the left sit bone. Take an inhalation. Take an exhalation, maybe you hinge. Nice full breaths here. One more. And then we'll gradually start to press the hands into the earth. From here, we're gonna take a three limb dog. So you'll curl the back toes under, start to sweep that left leg to the sky, bend the knee, point the toes towards the right, a little counter pose. And then square it back off, just walk the dog a couple of times. And then from here, take an inhale. Take an exhale. Bottom of your next exhale, just gaze forward, lift the heels, bend the knees. We're gonna step or float to a seat. Goes by fast, 30 minutes. It's kind of a power flow. Got my heater on here too, so a little extra hot. Um, if you guys know when you take my classes, I like to have it a little bit warmer. So um, let's go ahead. We're gonna do a seated twist and then we're gonna move to our backs. It's a cool down. So let's draw our right thigh towards the right ribs. So rooting down with your sit bones. You can stay here with it or you have the option to take the right foot over. You can stay here with it, an option to lean towards your left and hook the bottom heel in. So rooting down, find a little length on your, with your spine on your inhales. And then on your exhales, you're twisting towards your right. So you can hook the elbow or hug that knee with the left arm. Right hand goes behind the back. It's a little kickstand. So we're pausing and breathing here for a couple of breaths. Find a connection on your inhales. You're lifting and lengthening. And on your exhales, you're drawing the low belly in as you gently wring it out, twisting it out. You've got one more full breath. And then gradually you're going to unwind. Take a little counter pose over towards the right, or sorry, the left. And then return it to center. So we're just going to switch out sides. You're going to extend your right leg. Left thigh goes towards the left ribs. You can stay here with it. You have the option to take the foot over. Left foot drapes over. Sit bones root down. Or this time you can lean towards your right and hook the bottom heel down. So. Rooting down, find length on your inhalations. And on your exhalations, this time you're twisting off to the left. You can hook the elbow or you can hug the front thigh in. Kickstand the left arm out back. On your inhalations, you're lifting and lengthening. On your exhales, draw that low belly in as you gently twist. One more. And then gradually you're going to unwind, take a little counter pose off to your right. And then come back to center with it. Good. So from here, we'll go ahead 
and just start to lengthen the legs out. You can slide your sit pads out from under. Let's take an inhalation, hands reach to the sky. And then exhalation, just hinge at your hips. Hands and arms just land where they do. Relax through the back of your neck and let your knees be super soft here. Do that one more full breath into it. And then gradually you're gonna lift back up. So we're gonna lengthen initially at the top and then start to get that C curve into the spine and slowly start to roll one vertebrae at a time all the way down. Once you're all the way down, go ahead and start to draw your knees in towards your chest, giving yourself a nice hug. It was a quick flow, but I appreciate you all being here with me. So from here, we're gonna meet into Shavasana, our final pose. You can always knock the knees, and the knees can always be bent. Just starting to relax the arms to the sides of the body, starting to close the gaze. Just taking a moment here to return to that sensation of feeling the earth beneath your body. Coming back to the subtleties of the air moving in and out of the lungs. our way to our right hand side into fetal position. Just taking a moment here. And then slowly pressing your top hand to the earth, bringing yourself to a comfortable seat. Once you're all the way seated, take a moment here. On your inhalations, feeling the lifting of your heart. On your exhalations, maybe the dropping of the shoulders away from the ears. And then gradually we'll take the inhalation with the arms to the sky. And then exhalation hands return to heart center. The light and love in me honors the light and love in all of you. Namaste. Thanks, guys. Miss you all.